For the first DIY, we're going to be making this inspiration board and it's really great because it's super lightweight so it can be hung on the wall without making any holes, so that's always a plus. For this, I'm using a pizza pan, some mini clothes pins, a hot glue gun. Yes, you can get hot glue guns at the dollar store. I get mine from Dollar Tree. And then lastly, you're going to need some paint. This is completely optional. So I'm just using some spray paint that I had lying around and just adding a coat to the pizza pan. I then took those mini wooden clothes pins and just kind of laid them out to see where I wanted to glue them because once you glue them, they're kind of on there. If you glue them and try and rip them off when it's painted, you're gonna mess up the paint. So I just added a small amount of the glue onto the back of the clothespin. Definitely make sure you don't glue the clothespin shut because that could happen if you use too much of the hot glue. Just repeat that same process gluing down all of those clothespins. I recommend gluing them down kind of uneven. It will look a lot better when you hang up your actual items onto your inspiration board. And this is what your finished little inspiration board will look like. This next candle DIY is also meant to hold a little Polaroid or pretty much anything you want it to hold. So the materials you're going to need for this are some rocks, a glass jar, some magnetic little clips, a tea light, and then lastly you are going to need a hot glue gun. So for this DIY it's super simple. Just take your glass jar and fill it up with those rocks. Not all the way though, you want to leave some space for your little tea light candle that you're going to be placing in there. Place it in so it's nice and secure in between the rocks. You don't want it to fall down and cause a fire hazard. After that I'm just removing the magnetic back to these clips. It pops right off and then I'm adding a little dollop of hot glue to the back of the clip and then gluing it to the top edge of that little glass jar. I think this would look super cute with a little Polaroid clipped on it. I just couldn't find any of mine in time to film this video. For the next DIY and my absolute favorite, we are making this minimal black and white calendar and it was super affordable. So for this, you are just going to need a white poster board, some number stickers, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and then lastly, just go online and print out the little individual months. I will link down below the little PDF that I just printed out super easily. So for this, I started at the top by adding the year. So I'm just adding it and making it say 2017 in the upper right hand corner. And surprisingly enough, I just used one of the number sheets to space down where I wanted to start adding the numbers that go along with the months. And then I used my glue sticks to see how much space I wanted to leave on the edge of the poster board. So I'm using my materials wisely, guys. So yeah, I'm just putting a zero in front of all of the numbers that represent the days of the month, just because I think it looks better that way and everything's more symmetrical and even. So again, adding the zero before it, and you're just gonna repeat the same process for all of the months. So you'll have three separate rows when you are all done with that. So yeah, I then went in with that glue stick and glued in the little days of the actual month for each month. Again, use my glue sticks to space out the rows. So here, again, repeating that same process, adding the zero in front of the number associated with the month, and you are all done. It's super simple and easy to make, and this saves you a ton of money. Now, this wouldn't be a Tumblr-inspired DIY without some sort of faux succulent plant, now would it? So for this, you are going to need a ceramic pot, a faux succulent plant, you're going to need some twine. This actually comes in a pack of three at the dollar store, a hot glue gun, and then lastly, you're going to need a pack of this moss. I started off by adding a little bit of the hot glue to the edge of the twine and actually gluing it to the inside of the ceramic base just because I feel like it's gonna stick a little bit better using this method. I then took some hot glue and then strung the initial layer of the twine on the top and I added a lot of hot glue around that first layer just to make sure it was nice and secure so everything stays even towards the end of this DIY, but after you do the first layer, you can just kind of keep wrapping it about three or four times and then add a little dollop of hot glue. Now, I only did the upper layer of this ceramic pot. However, now that I'm editing this back, I feel like it might even look better if you just continue the twine all the way to the bottom of the ceramic pot. You definitely have enough twine in this little roll, and again, if you get it from Dollar Tree, it comes with three of these rolls, so you have plenty, but I just did mine on the top layer. I took my scissors and snipped off the end, and then again, secured it down with a little bit of the hot glue. This next step is optional, but I just took a pair of scissors and cut off any of the excess twine that I thought was sticking out 
totally optional like I said. Then I took my moss and added it to my ceramic pot. You can twist out these little fake succulents and they come right out of their little plastic pots. I added that to the middle. Then I went back in with my moss and added more to the sides just to make the actual succulent plant look like it's sticking more out and give the appearance of kind of like fake grass. But those were my dollar store DIYs. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.